So, hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546-3728. And Will the Smith may have been lying when he said how much he liked uh, Jada Pinketh Smith, his wife's shaven head, when she got it shaved. Um, that's what I think is probably very likely. Because in order to have a good relationship, a lot of times you gotta lie. Um, if you look at, at how she described Will saying that he liked it, Jada, um, she didn't say that, you know, Will was always telling me I should shave my head. That That's something that you like. Like if you like yellow and you're telling your wife, you know, you should wear yellow more often. That, that really looks nice. Now she might have forgotten. Maybe she forgot. It's possible. But, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. In addition to that, Will has admitted that he lies. Um, uh, it's not surprising. People need to lie. He has a lot at stake in his life. He's a wealthy dude who came from nothing. So yeah, he has, he has reason to lie. Especially to his wife about whether she looks good or not. Um, the instance where I'm talking about that he lied is he, what is the name of this movie? I can't remember. It was, um, Sagittarius Man, one of those Gemini Man. All right, there you go, Sagittarius Man. Anyway, um, I guess it's Gemini because of the twins, but it was, yeah, I guess it was his twin if it was a clone, but then it's not. Anyway, um, so he was saying he was promoting the movie. He's like, yeah, you know, this is the first uh, blah, blah, blah kind of human being, da, 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 da. And he was really promoting it hardcore. And it did not do well. I have to go see how well it did, but it didn't do well. But he knew it wasn't going to do well. He knew that, you know, the audiences that they, what do they call those audiences? I can't remember. Sample audiences. That they didn't like it. And he never named the movie, but in you know a subsequent time when he saw it, he was like, "Y'all gonna like this stuff." He was talking about whatever was at hand, and um, he was like, "Y'all gonna really like this." He's talking to the audience, and um, he's like, "Sometimes, sometimes I know you guys aren't gonna like it, but you know, it was an expensive movie." And anybody who is tracking him would know that he's talking about Gemini Man, right? You can't you can't poop on the movie while you're trying to get back your money for making the movie. Right? That's not gonna work at all. So yeah, he had to lie. And you know, on an off note, well, on a detour, I guess this was something that Shia LaBeouf did not get. Um I understand where he's coming from. He said some stuff again. He didn't lie. He was telling the truth, which doesn't help him remain famous. That's why he had that paper back on his head. Um, he was talking about how, uh, who's that famous? Steven Spielberg uh, was telling him. He looked up to Steven Spielberg. He was great. And then he worked with Steven Spielberg on um, in an Indiana Jones movie. And... Apparently, Steven Spielberg told him, you know, sometimes you get to to be artistic and you get to be true to your craft and blah, blah, blah. And then sometimes you just got to go out and sell cars. You know, you got to be like a car salesman and make the money. And he said he lost respect for Steven Spielberg because of that. Um, I wonder how he feels about being cancelled now. I wonder how his finances are now. He's a very honest guy. He talked about Megan Fox and the fact that when they were on the movie, they were basically together. Uh, when they were on the set of Transformers, they were together. You know, no limits. They were, like, virtually boyfriend and girlfriend, but... Yeah, it's hard to get through life like that. Anyway, back to Will. So, Will lied about this movie. And, uh, he probably lied about his wife... You know, he posted um, his wife's picture and he was like, beautiful. 
and let me tell you, from certain angles, um, Jill looks fantastic with her hair and her head like that. She looks great from certain angles like that. Especially once you've gotten used to the idea idea of a woman with a bald head. I remember um, my cousin got her head shaved. This was a long time ago. And it was the first woman that I recall being up close to with a bald head. I mean bald. Like how I was shaving my head. And it was like... It's like you're looking at it. For me at the time, it was what this is what i didn't say that to her but i was like what um i I don't want to say that i hated it i certainly don't want to say that i loved it um it was just like a shock to the senses because aside from an adam's apple and the way a woman's jawlines are, um, women can pass for men without all the accoutrements, without cosmetics, without um, uh, long hair, um, without hairstyles and clothing and da da da. Women can pass for men, and without breasts, of course. So, like you know, some women cannot pass for men um well they could probably pass for men from the collarbone up depending so it was a shock to see my cousin like that and um after a while i got used to it and it was fine but you can't take a recently shaved head of your mate of 30 something years or 20 something years however long they've been married and just post a fresh picture of her and claim that that junk is beautiful I don't I don't buy it I do not buy it and beyond that it's like as I would have mentioned before in another video um, I I get turned off for girls real easy and if it's if it's your girlfriend you know, you ride through it. Jada's hair is going to grow back. She's probably not going to stick to being bald. And even if she did, you'll get used to it. Potentially. But, you know, somebody that you see that you like. I remember there's this girl. I loved how her hair looked. Um, but she was a soccer football player. And um, when she tied it up to play soccer football, meh, she's just like anybody else to me. But then I saw her with it down, and eh, I liked her again. It's great. I saw another girl who, she had braids in her hair. Boom. I like, liked her. She took the braids out. Eh, not so much. Um, it's, it's just really, really easy to get turned off. And you can be turned off of what your wife is doing. This guy, Joshua Fluke, um... He, he does stuff on, you know, um, is it programming and whatever else. And he talked about the fact that when he was studying to be an engineer and he went to Sweden or Switzerland or one of those places, his wife shaved off half of her hair and maybe got it colored. And he was like, nobody asked me about this. And then she's asking me if I like it. Huh? No, it was not attractive, she, he was saying. And I believe it. You need those accoutrements. You need cosmetics. Well, you don't absolutely need cosmetics. I I find that I like just faces sometimes. I like skin as opposed to a powder puff. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, cosmetics will turn my head. And it will get me looking at girls I probably would never look at otherwise. But I also find that I am attracted to just bare skin. It's great. Even pimples, scars, whatever. Yeah, I can like that. And I do like that. In some instances. On some girls. Depending on whatever. But, um... Yeah. I think it, it's entirely possible that he is not... Because you do. You have to smooth things out. Your wife... 
went whatever and and she was already heading that way i've looked at you know red table talks before and her hair was just getting shorter and shorter and shorter if you want to do something new every single time and you don't want to put in extensions it's going to come off if every single episode you want to have a different style and a different color and uh, a different cut yeah you're going to end up with bald and you're going to have to leave it for a while to regrow if you want to do anything with it and you probably do want to do something with it so yeah she was heading that way anyway as far as i could see um but yeah in the picture that he posted like i said from certain angles she looks good because i'm used to bald heads somewhat on women but that specific poster looked like one of those alien posters one of those skinny aliens with the big eyes um just got a cosmetic pack and put it on you know not horribly they did a good job with the cosmetics but that's what it looked like but you can't tell your wife that because she's gonna go on red table talk and say what you think what you told her and it's a lot better you don't want to get cancelled who wants to get cancelled because they were telling their wife the truth and then she goes and tells millions and millions of people that um you didn't like her hair and whatever specifically you might have told her that she looks like an alien or whatever no you have to get in front of that story <laughs> you have to get in front of that story and post a picture before anybody asks you anything about it you go out and post that picture and say beautiful and nobody has nothing to ask you about it afterwards <laughs> if if uh if they see it and and they ask you again you just say the same thing you said before you are an actor you are an actor you can cry like you cried on fresh prince <laughs> you can laugh you can smile you can do whatever that's your job you just act your way out of any unpleasant circumstances um speaking of acting apparently somebody asked um what's his name bill gates about um jeffrey epstein and he squirmed apparently they said i think he should take some acting classes i think politicians i think a lot of people would be very much they'd find their lives enriched and their jobs a little bit easier if they just took some acting classes and you dug deep and you find that sadness from when you know in my case from when my grandfather died there was a time there where i could cry on command um by thinking about my grandfather and the fact that he died uh, when i was like 7 or something that junk really worked i mean i'm, I'm not going to cry in 10 seconds but i just think about it and yeah it would, it would work so yeah uh you know somebody was telling me and i might post about this I was laughing at some of the thing. Yeah, I was laughing at the fact that in every political speech by an American politician, um, you know, running for some office, they're going to say how America is the greatest country on earth, right? And in the movies, that's how it's portrayed and everything. And I was just I thought it was so absolutely funny and ridiculous that Kamala Harris was also going to poor countries and telling people um don't come here. So when you juxtapose those two ideas, which is the genesis of any joke, and I think I have to do a piece about that. Putting two things together can result in genius, it can result in crap, and it can result in humor. And putting those two things together together can make me laugh the same way I was laughing about Will being an actor and having, you know, to lie uh to everybody about whether or not he likes his wife's bald head. Um anyway I was laughing about it and somebody was like did you take your meds you forgot to take your meds in some comment and um yeah I don't I don't like those those comments I don't know what people expect to get in response to that but um as I told them ultimately or her whoever it was you know laughter is the best medicine so if I'm laughing and you 
think that I forgot to take my meds uh, and you don't get the joke, then maybe you need some laughter for medicine. Because it's the best one, right? So, no, I didn't forget. I have the best. I have the best medicine. Anyway, um, and another thing, and maybe I'll do another piece about that up as well. Um, ah, jeez, I lost it. Yeah, I somebody posted a, another comment. They said, um, oh, I love rambly speeches, and I have to agree with you. I don't know. I should find that thing and and give that one a heart, a big nice heart. Because that's what I realized that I really loved about The Simpsons. And I love that maybe about um, South Park. Yeah, you start with a story. But you can end up anywhere. You have no idea where that episode is going to end up. And that, I love that shit. I loved it. Um, so yeah, my rambly story about Will not necessarily liking his wife's head. But still... You know, coming out and saying it. And this is where I end up. Yeah, I like stories like this too. Because you don't know what's important. And you don't know what's funny. Until you hear it. And sometimes what you think you want. When you clicked on a video. Expecting to hear XYZ. Might not be exactly what you want. Sometimes the type of girl that you want. Might not be who you end up with. And who you're happiest with. So yeah, I like unpredictability, I like uh, stories that take a crazy turn, like uh, Sixth Sense, you know, somebody was mocking Sixth Sense the other day, but uh, that's what made M. Night Shyamalan, you know, that's what he's known for. Anyway, I don't want to make this thing too long, so thanks for listening, have a good one, peace.